Hey, yeah, welcome back to Stormworks Basics tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be learning how to make it so that you can use the seats up down to be able to also control the throttle. Uh, this was something somebody had asked for. This is what I usually do in my builds. And so this allows you to look over in the cockpit and actually move the throttle or thrust lever up and down, or you can uh, just use the keyboard. So it allows you to do either thing so that visually you can see it in the game, gives you a little bit more immersion, and you have the option to do one or the other. So let's go ahead and let's get in the workbench. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna bring in the throttle that we want. And so this is nice. I, I do this on, say, for example, my Proteus. And this allows you to get a little bit more immersed where you can actually see these things physically moving instead of just, you know, something magically happening. You can see these throttles moving. So here's your throttle. And so just build a quick base here and put this on the ground. All right. And then what we want to do is we want to do a seat. And I'll just put a pilot seat here. It can be whatever. All right. So let's go in the seat. And let's configure this. So we want to switch these over to pushes, not toggles. We'll spawn that. And we'll head on over. And so we should be able to either control it via these buttons on the throttle. As you can see, it turned infinite electricity on, so we have that. Or what we can do is press 1, 2. So that's pretty easy. And so what we're going to do is I tend to prefer to use the up-down arrows. And so what you can do here is if you go in your seat, let's uh, actually put it in a dial here, and you can see... So we'll stick a dial right, uh, we'll stick it right here. And what we'll do is we'll connect to the up down axis four. And we, we need to configure our seats. So we're going to go to the seat up down. We want to leave it as reset and we want to put 100% sensitivity. This will make it so that we when we press the up arrow, it instantly goes to one. Uh, press down, instantly goes to negative one. And when we let go, we'll go back to zero. So it's almost like. Uh, putting in two position switches, so as though we made the up down arrows also buttons just like that. All right, and so next thing we need to do is make a microcontroller. So I have one that I just call blank, so I'm going to bring that in. All right, pretty simple here. This should be easy. So do three across. We're going to go logic composite. That's going to be from the seat. And we need two Boolean outputs, on off outputs. That's going to be up. It's going to be down. All right, I'm going to go in here, and I'm going to move these around. All right, and so what we want to do is we want to take our seat, and it said on the seat that's channel 4, so we want to read a number. That's going to be 4. That's going to read that uh, 4 channel. AD is 1, up, down, is, uh, WS is 2, uh, left, right is 3, and then the up, down is 4. So next thing we want to do is we want to do a threshold. And you can search for these if you don't have them on your hotbar. And we want to make this 1-1. One, one. And we'll just copy and paste that one. And then this one here will be negative 1, negative 1. So when it's negative 1, it will uh, send an on signal. When it is 1, it will send an on signal. When it's 0, it will send neither signal. And so that will go to up. This will go to down. Update that really quick. Let's go in here. Let's put down to down, up to up. And then we want to hook the composite from our seat to there. We'll, again, you want to make sure that your seat is set to 100% reset. I'm also going to connect the up-down off of this. Here, the up-down goes to this dial, and then we can visually see what that does. And so again, you can still manually control the throttle if you want it in the cockpit, like so. And then when you press the up-down arrow, so I'm going to press up. As you can see, we can manually move it up and down. And so that just allows us to turn that into essentially buttons. And then if we look here, um, pressing nothing, it'll do zero. If I press up, it will go and stay at one. I let go, it lets go of it, and negative one is down. And so I hope you guys found that helpful. You can do that with any of the axes, AD, up, uh, WS, left, right, whatever you like. You can turn them into buttons by doing those thresholds and setting it sensitivity to 100%. Thanks for watching.